When Tim Stewart took over the Alpena soccer program in 2011, the Wildcats were coming off a 6-12-1 season. And while the Cats haven't posted a losing record since, Stewart still believes his program has plenty of work to do. The Wildcats get their season underway tomorrow, hoping to improve on last year's 9-8-2 mark. And they'll do so with eight seniors that left the 2012 squad. Stewart says the players that have graduated in the last two years laid the foundation for the Alpena soccer program. And now, this year's team has to continue growing through game action. Well, there's no substitute for game experience and, and you can't manufacture that in practice and even in scrimmage set settings. Uh, you know, so you know, we're at the point now where pretty much everybody is. We, we need to start playing games, we need to make mistakes in game situations that are correctable and coachable and hopefully you can win games while you're making mistakes and, and that's the ultimate goal. The Wildcats host seven other teams tomorrow for a one-day tournament at the high school. The tourney field features several soccer powers from downstate, such as Troy Athens, where Storch won nine state championships as the head of the boys and girls soccer team. And the Cats' main man hopes a stiff competition will rub off on his current program. For one day, Alpena is going to kind of be the mecca of high school soccer. And, uh, you know, hopefully it's, it's something that, that these guys, you know, catch like a fever and, and the younger people, uh, you know, see and say, hey, I want to be that, that good and, and uh, be that committed. And uh, if I am, then, then we can be that kind of team, you know, down the road. The Wildcats' first game of tomorrow's tournament takes place at 11 a.m. when they host Tawas at Wildcats Stadium.